If that happens again, time becomes distance. I would, I would, I would bow down to him. What a legend! What was that spell? Like it's a rainbow. I remember seeing a wizard spell that did something similar like that. Hmm. Maybe we should have taken that. That seemed quite powerful. <gasps> My life is a burden. Yes, it is, it is. It will be more of a burden if we don't do what I want you to do. Oh, our travelers brought us to the little town surroundings in pursuit of a dastly river pirates who have preyed on the innocent merchants and travelers. It would have been nice to march in, knock some skulls together and call it a day. But rumors suggest we were heavily outnumbered. Even worse, the villains had set up their camp in an indefensible position inside of their boats. Protected by the river on one side, a thick forest on another side, the sticky swarm on the third. At a bunch of sentries watching for intruders and we were in trouble. Thanks God, our fearless leader had a plan. I had a plan? Y yes, yes, I had a plan. Plan, um, we gonna do... We circled around to approach from the woods. Seeking some game trail or other path that could lead us through the undergrowth. Failed. We tried... Our leader ably found an animal trail and led us deeper into the woods and toward the camp. We confidently followed, not knowing quite what had cleared the path. It soon became all too apparent when our leaders were lodged in a large burrow, eliciting a manic, menacing growl from beneath the earth. But following was a brief and terrifying farce involving a family of badgers, low hanging poison eve, and some very choice words. I will note that choosing this route was not my idea. <laughs> Lindsay, you picked burrs from our cloaks as we reached the edge of the clearing. And there we could see that there wasn't one camp, there were two. The second was several hundred feet away, judging by the campfires. Which meant that we could vanish the pirates in one camp before the other could respond. We made a rustling near the boats, hoping to lure and subdue a few sentries. I had... I have 33. Reload, load, load. I want to load. All right. Actually, I think this is the the time to take a break. I shall end this suffering. Oh. oh boy, that's actually an entire cam, huh? Yeah. Uh. Why do you have now to save? I definitely need a break. Not enough Pathfinder. Let's go up here. Like that. My strength retreats. Like that. What is Hamlock Island? Reaching the wooden island, we stopped to look around the locals living. Oh, stop looking around. The locals living around the lake fully believed the place was cursed. Day and night, colored lights supposedly appeared around the islands, and some brave souls would even watch them fly over the water. The local legends said that anyone who saw these lights would definitely disappear. Not that night, then within the month for sure. I didn't see any lights at all. So the island seemed forlorn and completely uninteresting. Suddenly gloomy and pines loomed over the grey rocky shore. A narrow path disappeared into the woods. We decided to follow the path and explore the mysterious island. Whoever made the path clearly didn't use it often. We could barely make it out among the ferns. ferns. We had to walk single file along the path as branches from the crowded bushes grabbed at our sleeves and backpack straps. I need to hit the next person in line once we passed. The forest grew taller and thicker and ever darker. The air suddenly grew intensely humid as clouds of milky white, incredibly thick fog flowed up from the ground. And believe me, dear reader, when I say incredibly thick, 
We are not talking like how an innkeeper might talk up his soup. It became impossible to see past our own nose. And it was like our ears had stuffed with cotton. The air itself became so dense it was like walking through water. We had to navigate by touch and we could move only half as fast as we'd been going. Sam, who'd been walking last, was forced to stop. With great difficulty, he could barely make out the muffled and worried voices of his friends ahead. Something had to be done, but what? Yeah, let me do a 12 mobility check against the 31, huh? Hit, I have to try it. Sam decides to break through the fog and try to catch up to everyone. Failed. <laughs> Sam continued forward through the fog, but progress became more difficult with each step. step. He felt a sudden movement of air to the left before he flew forward, having been pushed hard in the back. Failing to keep his ball on, Sam fell into the sticky mud. That moment, he just barely spotted a pair of pale hands reaching out, grab his back, and disappear back into the fog. The fog finally began to clear and soon there was no trace of it. Sam looked back and his friends were mo nowhere to be seen, but up ahead, he could just make out a blinking welcoming light. As Sam approached the light source, it is quick, it became clear that the light was a bonfire. Soon, Sam entered a bright lit clearly, clearing and saw all of us. But why? Then, but why then, did no one jump up to greet him, or give a welcoming yell, or a hug, or even offer a cup of hot tea? But everyone froze in their seats, spoon lifted in the air. Why, why the deathly silence? Imagine some Sam's surprise when he finally saw why his appearance had caused such a strange reaction. It seemed he hadn't been missing, he hadn't been missing at all. He'd been sitting with us all by the fire, watching his exact copy emerge from the forest. Yes, dear reader, just imagine it. Two copies of the king met in the clearing, seemingly identical. But which of the two was real? The king sitting by the fire sat. How can there be any doped? I'm the real king, of course. Look, I've got a bag of all my things. And what did the king who walked out of the first answer? <laughs> ah. I can do diplomacy. Alright, why not tie us both up and interrogate us? We will soon discover which of us is the doppelganger that way. But look at the back, it's covered in mud, like me. With the imposters completely clean. He pushed me down in the fog and stole my back. Hmm. A deepening silence hung in the air. One could hear the thoughts churning through our brains. And then the psalm sitting by the fire laughed in a strange voice. He stood up and began rising into the air. The mask dropped and we saw a short, pale man with blonde hair and parrot-like wings with bright feathers. We all went after him together but Sam held onto him most tightly. Sans gripped the Joker's wing in an eye ring grab, and an ear piercing whistle sounded from all around us, and stones began raining on us from above. The imposter was aided by his winged kin, who grabbed him by the hands and began pulling him up. We didn't give up, but in the end, we were overpowered. There were just too many dear ra readers. They quickly reclaimed our prisoner from us, throwing into the air and shaking their fists at us. They flew off. We sat. A long time around the fire laughing and chatting about how Sam clearly dispelled the illusion. And when morning came, as we looked around at the rainbow colored feathers left behind by our in uninvited guests, I noticed one of them had lost a valuable bracelet in the fight. We'd ended up a trophy at least. Jesus, that was so much reading. Ugh. Plus one bonus to illusion, plus two bonus to saving against illusion spells. Not needed. Why does it look like there's still more? Oh well. Uh, we do we need a break. I can do her crest. Campfire. Taking a nap. Hey, who's that? Me? I thought I saw someone. I've been free for a long time, but I still see an assassin in every shadow. Oh, poor guy. You will be better, don't worry, man. One day, you will wake up and you will not worry about assassins. 
you will forget they exist. Maybe. Well, I'm the king, so I will probably get assassins running after me. So he will be worried. When he wins. Choking death. A devastating epidemic. I'm choking on my voice. The full blooded. The full blooded. Is my king still uh, my kingdom still at the site of death? Are we still losing? Or are we King I replace an unforgettable blah, 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 blah. We did all what we could. We ruined his plans. This time, Max the Welsh cowboy didn't even bother greeting us. Meeting the unf- Oh. Oh, we can't do the quest yet. Alright. Okay, let's see if we can make it. We slipped into the river, swimming up to the camp to take cover behind the boats. Succeeded. Shivering from the cold, we clambered into the beach and began spying from behind the boats. From there we could see that there wasn't one camp. There were two. Oh, okay. Literally 37 trickery. If I don't if I don't make it, I'm crying. We made a rustling near the boats, hoping to lure and subdue a few sentries. It was exactly the plan you read about in dashing tales, and our enemies fell right into our trap. We quickly dispatched the sentries before launching our attack on the remaining pirates. Fuck yeah! Why was it so hard earlier? I did not save, by the way. I think I overcame my savings addiction. I'm not saving as much. What the fuck? They just exploded. you're healing nobody there what is happening what is happening oh 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 more people 